Enjoy our story by taking control of our tormented main character and leading him to freedom. Start the story from the beginning. Now, grab a snack and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. The night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story <clears throat> awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm. What a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show, until we meet again. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of <gasps> it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning.
up and climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die? Are you fucking serious? The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional pad to move and climb. All right. All right. All right. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? Press the A button to grab the block. While holding the block, use the directional pad to... You can also undo your last move by pressing back. Use it to give yourself a second chance. Edge. May you rest in peace, O oh Lamb. Now's not the time to be dead. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional continue. If you see one, make an effort to get it. Right, I got it. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impossible situation. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. First, Try pulling a block to make some footing. Edge. All right. Edge. All right, I got it. This is very important, so make sure you remember what I'm going to tell you. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean, they connect at the edges? Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. The edges glow bluish-white when making a connection. Edge. Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. Edge. All right, I got it. So make stairs with them. Just get used to it. Quickly making stairs is the core of successfully scaling the tower. Use the edges to create stairways. Edge. All right. All right, I got it. Edge. Where is this? What is this ringing? As you near the top, you will hear a bell ringing. The exit is near. Hurry. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec! All right. All right. All right, I got it! 
Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. All right. I can get out through here. Climbing. The underground cemetery lies beneath you. in today's code review meeting really no no I'm just uh, just a little under the weather no no it's okay I'll be right there yeah um, sorry getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Oh man, how long has it been? It's been so long. I Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. In other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled hey, out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Said that attacks are being oh, made two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, Feather's though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. 
Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides... You're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. But I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, oh, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right, take care, Vince. See you later. You got mail. From your phone, you can check your text messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just changed jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. You got me. Spam? Up 
her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. You got mail. you. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then... Damn it, I can't remember. What is going on? All right. You the new guy from last night? Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? There are several types of blocks, such as cracked blocks and heavy blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. You know you can hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out, you'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. Try it out. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. Edge. Edge. All right. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. You might find an easy path up. Use the right stick to look around. If you're stuck, take a look around before moving on. All right, I got it.
also push rows of blocks all at once. Rows of blocks can be pushed together. There's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time. a checkpoint. You will start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure to tag it. Alright. Edge. Alright, right, I got it. You've come pretty far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? Alright, I got it. Edge. 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 this place wish I knew one thing's for certain though if we don't run we're going to be killed killed if you see this place once it's all over you'll keep coming back every night every night you're kidding me we all have the same fate here if you don't want to die you've got to climb so if I climb I'll be saved there's no guarantee but take a look at that see that bell it's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, no, no. No, no, wait. You hurry too. Hey! Can't be serious. On the landings, you can save your progress and talk with the other sheep. Go on, talk to them. <laughs> Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? <laughs> they told me to go up. But what's up there? Give me a break. Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner, at least, saves you some pain, right? Damn it! I'm gonna survive! Even if it means kicking off others! If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too! If you don't run, you'll die! I've gotta keep running! I can't die here! Can we team up to find a way out of here? I don't know you! I can't trust you! No, I'm not going with anyone. I've had it with people trying to trick me. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to die! Just calm down. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. Everyone's just out to see. I'll have to use. We're discussing techniques. They're the key to survival. Maybe this will be useful. You want me to teach you the technique I found? Let's do it. All right. Remember, this is my technique. Allow me to explain the pyramid. out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. Remember this basic technique. What do you think? Mm, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Allow me to explain the slider. Two blocks from
vertically, then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway, even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. Um, well... Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, then it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. I'll have to use that next time. I'll have to use that next time. Why was I taken here? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here. <laughs>